Welcome back. I hope you are excited to see the final part of the Nutcracker Ballet. The big party in the land of sweets is coming to an end. But first, the Sugar Plum Fairy and her cavalier perform a special dance. The stage is now set for the finale of our story. In ballet, the finale is usually the last dance and is used to sum up the entire story. Often, the finale has lots of energy or drama accompanied by equally powerful music.
it's easy to see why the finale is sometimes the most memorable part of a ballet. Wow! With the party now over, the land of sweets and all of its characters slowly fade away. up from her magical dream to find her favorite nutcracker toy right beside her. Nutcracker is such a popular holiday tradition. I hope you enjoyed learning about it, and I really hope to see you in the audience at one of our upcoming ballet performances, or maybe even dancing on stage yourself. Now that you've seen these amazing dancers bring the story of the Nutcracker to life, are you ready to learn some ballet moves for yourself? Come on, stand up and get ready to follow along as our dancers show you what to do. Demi plie, demi plie, grand plie, tendu de second, demi plie, demi plie, grand plie, tendu to fourth position, demi plie, demi plie, Grand plie, tendu to fifth position, demi plie, demi plie, grand plie. Now we're going to do tendus. Make sure that you point your toes and don't bend your knees. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do degages. Let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now four. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, and one. One. Great, I knew you guys could do it, but now we're going to count those numbers with our feet and legs and degages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Now we're going to do some fondues. Fondues means to melt. Let's move our arms and legs like melting. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna now show you some special moves. Make sure not to imitate these at home. A chape, a chape, pa se, pa se. A chape, a chape, pa se, pa se. A chape, three change A chape, three change mots. Thank you, dancers. That was great. How long have you been taking ballet? I've been dancing for 13 years, which means that I've been dancing since I was two years old. I began dancing at three years old, and I've been taking ballet classes for 12 years. I've been taking ballet classes since I was six years old, so I've been doing it for seven years. 
You are saying some names before you start to move. What are those names? Every move and every position in ballet has its own name in French. Do you speak French? No. No. Oh, no. Why are you using French names? Well, the first ballet school started in France, so they gave all of these names to all dance positions and movements. Wow! It's so cool how you're dancing on the very tips of your toes like that. Thanks, it's called point. It looks beautiful, but also like it would hurt. It would probably hurt most people, but ballet dancers spend years strengthening their feet, ankles, and calf muscles so they can get up on their toes. They also strengthen their upper body muscles so they can pull their weight away from the floor. How long does it take to start dancing on point? It depends, but I would say at least five years or more, and some dancers do not dance on point, like men dancers do not dance on point. So it takes special training to start dancing on point, does it also take special shoes? Yes, we wear these special shoes called point shoes. These are different from normal soft ballet slippers because they're very hard in the toe. This allows us to rise all the way up on the tips of our toes. It's so beautiful, but it sure takes a lot of work. Yes, ballet can be difficult, but we love the challenge of making something so beautiful. The Nutcracker is such a popular holiday tradition. I hope you enjoyed learning about it. I really hope to see you at one of our upcoming ballet performances, or maybe even dancing on stage yourself.